Hey, what's up, guys? Eagle 94 back with another action figure review for you guys. We have the Hasbro Marvel Legends X Men Apocalypse. This is the Age of Apocalypse Deluxe release of Apocalypse. We have a bit of a glare there, but as you see him in the front of the package right there, and we got him on the side. Nice artwork here. If we look at the top, it is the same logo as the Age of Apocalypse from the Sugar Man wave. And then on the back side, we get a picture of Apocalypse holding a skull. And then we got a read-up on the right that says, Apocalypse launches an offensive against humankind in a world where mutants rule and only the strong survive. And if you guys are interested in this figure, be sure to check out the link down below in the description where you guys can order it from BigBadToyStore.com. So our Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse is sporting our Build-A-Figure body mold. The same Apocalypse body mold for the most part. We get some retooling, some added parts, some different boots, you know, different things, of course. But for the most part, the torso, the arms, and the thighs are the same. So he does come apart like a build a figure. So this is a deluxe figure similar to our Monster Venom reissue. That was a build a figure. They reissued it as a deluxe figure for $29.99. This is similar, uh, just like the Red Hulk and the War Machine that I just recently reviewed. So if you missed that one, go ahead and check that out. And actually, both of the head sculpts that this figure comes with are brand new. I do like the face expression. He's got like an evil laugh expression here. The paint's done pretty well. And then here's a closer look at the torso going down to the feet. You can see the boots. And unfortunately I got a little paint chip on my hip right there. Right out of the package. Now we do see we get some peg holes on the shoulders here. It's because he does come with a cape. It's going to save that for the accessories section. So let's get on to that right now. So here's the cape that he comes with. We get two pegs on each shoulder. So we can just peg it on. And it gets on pretty simple. There he is with the cape on. So there's a side view and then here is the back view of that. So it is using the pegs on the shoulders. It's not using the peg on the back system. And I think that works better for this figure. And he also comes with a skull accessory, which is actually pretty nice. I like the paint job done on here. And you can see some cracks on the back of the skull. You get an alternate left hand, which is a fist. So now you can have double fists here, because he does come with a right hand that is fisted. And only one hand, which is the left one, that is opened. And then lastly, we get the closed mouth head, which is also a new sculpt, like I mentioned earlier. And here's the alternate head on the body. I think that looks good. Pretty dope looking figure overall. So he does have this big old collar piece, armor piece, that's gonna hinder a lot. It is actually removable. That pegs off. Yeah, if you take it out, it's pretty awkward, but I guess it's not too bad, right? And you can definitely get some more movement out of the head like that. These shoulder pads are actually gonna get hindered, unfortunately by the cape when the cape is on it pins it down so whenever you want to move it up I mean you can still move the arms out but then the cape kind of lifts up and probably will pop off but if you remove the cape it doesn't really make much of a difference because the arms go up to here so actually it really doesn't hinder it unless you really want to move this around and these are all on hinges which pop off, so everything kind of pops off this thing so just to show the head articulation it's not a budget and it's hinge, it's going to move up it's going to move down, goes left and right without the collar piece. With the collar piece, he can still look left and right, but as you can see, it, it doesn't go all the way. But you can still get him to look to the right or to the left just fine, and it holds the pose. So you can, It still moves. It's still good enough. He still looks up. He still looks down. It looks kind of awkward. He just looks like he's looking inside his armor. As for the arms, as I already kind of showed it, uh, it does move forward. Of course, these are on hinges, so they don't hinder it too much. They go in and out. We get bicep swivels, single jointed elbows, which really aren't that great because it gets hindered there. And then we have a swivel at the forearm, which actually separates just like the Build-A-Figure does. If you guys recall the uh, accessory piece that the Archangel figure came with to attach onto Apocalypse. I'm sure you can attach that to here if you wish. Uh, so yeah, that swivels, we get a swivel at the wrist with a hinge, and we get a ab crunch at the torso, which is actually pretty deep. As you see, we got a waist swivel, two jointed legs are going to kick forward and back, 
in and out about that far we get a thigh swivel double jointed knees boot cut at the shin there we got an ankle hinge and a rocker at the foot right there but well, believe it or not my build a figure apocalypse is missing a leg right now you can see the drastic difference of course in the blue in the design and everything's a different version of apocalypse and definitely not a figure you would get rid of just because this new one is coming out it's not like the monster venom and just to show you guys that the build figures are pretty much the same sculpt there you go you can uh, detach the leg off the deluxe version and put it onto the build a figure right here we can see that they changed from the knee down um, it's the sculpt completely of course we get the boots here this is all armored here. The arms, on the other hand, are pretty much the same except for the gauntlet piece, which just slides on and off. It's just a separate loose piece, and we don't get these wires or tubes anymore. The shoulder pads are also different. I really am just pointing out the obvious, but uh, I'll do it anyways. There's the collar piece or the collar armor piece that looks completely different, of course. So in case I get asked about head swaps, this is the Build-A-Figure. Apocalypse head on this body, which actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, it fits very tight though. It seems like the peg hole is a little smaller on the Build-A-Figure head because when I place the new head onto the Build-A-Figure, like this one right here, it's very loose. It'll pop in, but it sits there loose. But still, you could still play it and uh, pose it just fine with it on there. So the peg hole on this head definitely is bigger. Here's the build a figure with the closed mouth head and I think that looks good to be honest. Since we don't have a closed mouth for this build a figure this kind of works right. The blue isn't too off. Here's Apocalypse next to the Sugar Man build a figure which came from the X-Men Age of Apocalypse wave. And we're going to run through the Age of Apocalypse wave of figures. So we have X-Man and there he is next to Sunfire. Here we got Morph and Wild Child. And then we have Jean Grey and Weapon X. And here I'll throw him next to the Deluxe War Machine, which I recently reviewed. And these two are actually at the same price point. So with Apocalypse, you're essentially getting a build of figure for 30 bucks. It's a way bigger figure than the War Machine, but he does come with less accessories, that being just one hand, a skull, and an alternate head. If you want to count the cape, that's actually a pretty big chunk of plastic, which is not um, reused. From anything else you know that's included too but with war machines a smaller regular size figure but he comes with a bunch of effect pieces for himself so that definitely kind of balances out and one thing i kind of forgot to mention in my war machine review so i'm going to take the opportunity to mention it here is pinless joints on the elbows um i did not see this somehow I did not see this but there is no pins on the elbows here there's pins on the knees and thighs but the elbows are pinless so I did mention that the elbows or the arms completely were kind of reused from uh, 80th anniversary Iron Man but that is not true because those had pins and these are pinless so this is the build a figure so if you have the build a figure you know what to expect already in terms of articulation you know how limited the arms are you know how limited um, the head might be and you know how tall he is how big he is he does come apart like the build a figure because he is the build a figure i really do like the skull accessory i think it came out great i'm glad that they painted it and made it look worn and old and detailed that there is no peg hole so you can't put it on a figure it's not just a rehash of the um the skulls that came with Dormammu either. It's a brand new sculpt on that. But if you want to choose which one you like or which one you prefer, let me know down below in the comments if you like this new one or you like the old Build-A-Figure better. With that said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.